Welcome to DivX Video Tutorials. In this video, we will show you how adding a high quality DivX video to your web page can be as easy as copy and paste. The DivX Web Player is a simple yet sleek plugin for your internet browser, allowing DivX videos to be played directly within a website. It works when visitors to your site have it installed on their computers. If you're looking for the simplest way to add DivX videos to your website, blog, or social networking site, we recommend starting off with the DivX Web Player Code Generator. We make this available to anyone online from DivX Labs. All you need to have to get started on your end is a DivX file and some HTML code. If you use a website hosting service, you can upload your DivX video file to your host servers along with the HTML page file. If you do not have your own website hosting, you can try using a free online location like your blog or social networking site, or even a free web page tool such as Google Pages. Once your video file is uploaded, you will need to provide your file's URL. You will know you have the right URL if it starts in HTTP and ends in DivX. Go to the Code Generator's webpage on DivX Labs and just paste in the URL or path to your video file. You can use the Code Generator's defaults and just click on the Generate button to get your code, or you can use any of the settings to customize the code that is generated. You can set the width and height of the web player window. If you are modifying the width and height, try to use a resolution that maintains the original aspect ratio as closely as possible to prevent distortion. To show a preview image to display in place of the DivX X logo on the web player screen, choose a PNG, JPEG, or GIF image file URL. This isn't a required field. If you don't add a thumbnail, the DivX logo will display until the video starts playing. If you would like the video to start playing when the web page opens, check the box to auto start playback. If you want to view even more settings, click on the click for more settings link. Here you can choose what type of playback controls to make available with your video. By default, the small controls option is used. This is a display of a small bar of playback controls, about 20 pixels high, at the bottom of the video area. If you do not want this control bar, you can turn it off by selecting No Controls, or select one of the other sizes from the drop-down menu. DivX Web Player also comes with a right-click pop-up menu and a loop playback feature. Check the box to enable the pop-up menu if you want users to have access to playback controls by clicking the right mouse button or the menu button on the player skin. This is the blue X in the corner. Check the loop playback box if you want the video to restart again automatically when it reaches the end. The buffering method options allow you to specify how the plugin should buffer download data before attempting to start playback. By default, this is set to progressive so the video will buffer in the background while it plays. You can also turn this off or set it to fully buffer before the video starts. This last parameter is for a minimum version of the DivX web player. Choose this if you want users to have at least a certain version number of the web player. If you leave it blank, any version of the web player will allow visitors to your site to watch the videos. Click the Generate button to create the code based on the settings you have indicated. You will see a preview appear under the Preview button. If you like what you see, just click Copy to Clipboard. Now all you have to do is paste the code in the editing section of your web page where you'd like the video to appear online. That's all there is to it. For those of you who are interested in creating a more advanced, customized embed code for your videos, you may want to take a look at the DivX Web Player Webmaster SDK. This folder contains a Webmaster's Handbook PDF file with instructions on using the embed code, along with a samples folder containing examples of code variations for advanced settings.